Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Eon's Battle, and today I'm going to show you how to create a scenic rocky desert base. Here are the paints and supplies that I'm going to be using. So the first thing I do is I am going through this bag of indoor foil covering. It's basically a mixture of tree bark and wood chips. And I picked out some that I think is going to add some really, really interesting texture. And then I used a hobby saw to cut them on a diagonal so that I can make it look like pieces of mountain rocks and earth sticking up out of the base. Now that I have my pieces, I used a nail file to clean up my cuts. And then to create a little bit of dynamic texture on the base, I applied a liberal amount of Gorilla Glue. This Gorilla Glue is going to expand while it dries, and that's going to create a nice texture and this kind of a incline mound to the base to help the model stand a little taller. Now the, the thicker you apply the Gorilla Glue, the taller it's going to foam. So I find that just a small layer works best. I then applied my wood chips so that they stick out just a little bit past the parameters of the base. I then left that glue to foam up overnight. Now I'm going to apply some flocking sand to the bases. So I used a little bit of Elmer's glue and an old brush to apply it all over the base, but not to the wood chips. I started out by sprinkling a few larger pebbles and then some smaller pebbles and then some fine sand. I did the same thing for all five bases. I also applied a little bit of extra sand to the wood chips to help incorporate them into the base a little bit more naturally. Once that was all dry, I primed all the models gray. Then I base coated all of the models with Vallejo dark sand. I then switched out my airbrush for some Vallejo Earth, and then I sprayed that on all of the wood chips and on some of the larger clumps of large pebbles. Once I was happy with how that looked, I then went in with a little bit of Vallejo Bone White, and then I did a heavy dry brushing all over the model to help knock down a little bit of that contrasting colors, and to help highlight some of the raised parts of the base. Once I was finished with that dry brush, I then mixed myself a little bit of burnt umber ink and water, and then I applied that to some of the wood chipped areas and to the larger pebbles. It looks a little bit like I'm applying a wash, but there's no binding agent in this. So when it dries, it's just gonna dry as a tint. And then where you apply this ink, you're going to want to take a little bit of water on your brush, and then you're going to want to work it into the base so that there's a nice gradient in between where you're placing this ink and the cleaner parts of the base. And there you have some scenic rocky desert bases. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions on videos that you would like to see, please leave a comment below. And if you followed along with this tutorial, please post your work to Instagram and tag Eon's Battle so that we can share it. Thanks for watching.